This is the story of the surfer and the spotter. The surfer and the spotter on a boat. And as luck would have it, their boat hits an old World War II landmine. Crashes. So they swim the shore. Then they walk out onto the island. We'll give them names. This is, I'll just pick a hypothetical name, Patrick. He is a real laid-back kind of guy, doesn't really care about school or achievement or anything. And he is our surfer. In the interest of fairness, we'll make the other one a girl. No, I'm not drawing that. Uh, the girl is real nervous type. Kind of likes, you know, nuts. Almost like a squirrel-like creature running around. Um, and we'll just give that one a random name. Wink. Um, and that's our spotter. So, they get marooned on this desert island, which happens to be shaped just perfectly like an equilateral triangle. And they start arguing. Patrick says, this place is awesome. I could live here forever. And just surf the waves and I, I never have to go home. There's coconuts, there's plenty of fruit and I can eat and live here. I'll be the happiest person in the world. And the spotter says, no, no, I've got to get back for a tennis game and a, and a soccer match, which I can, you know, pretend to score a couple goals and brag about to people. And says, I, I need to be constantly on the lookout for ships. The spotter says, you know what? We need to build a hut. And we need to build it in a spot where I can easily get to the three points. Because they're the best viewing spots for looking for ships. And she's got a flare and she's going to shoot it off as soon as she sees a ship. And they'll be rescued. And the surfer says, you know, I really don't care. All I care is that I want to be able to get to all the beaches and it could be a beach right here. The whole side of the island is is beaches. So it could be here or right here. Anything. And I've surfed all three of these beaches. And they're all fabulous. So I don't care. As long as I can rotate between each beach, it's fine with me. I just want the walking I do to be the absolute minimum. And the spotter says, well, I want the walking I have to do to the tips of the islands to be absolute minimum. So let's figure out where we're going to put the, the hut. And they're going to get together and build it. So your task, and I don't think you need to draw in all these lovely shapes, is to figure out where's the best location if Patrick chooses and where's the best location if Wink chooses. And that would be the spot that requires the least amount of walking. When Patrick walks, he will walk at a 90 degree angle straight to the beach. And when Wink walks, she will walk straight from wherever she is, let's say it was here, to the tips of the island. And things got a little busy here, but you get the general idea. Where is the best place for each one of them to put their little shack? That's it. Good luck.